hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on some deformers in zbrush so right now i've got this sphere i'm going to select the move tool and then just click on this gear icon and then we have uh, the deformer called inflate uh, multi slice and offset so we would have a look on these three uh, deformers so let's pick the inflate so before going into this deformer if you could just uh, scroll down to the deformer section the deformation section when i slide this value the deformer uh, inflates the model so don't get confused with uh, uh, the scale tool. I mean, uh, don't think that this inflate is doing a scale thing. If you can just uh, select the dog model here, which is uh, uh, now if I just select the deformation and then just increase the inflate, you should be able to see it's not scaling, but it's pushing or pulling the polygons out in the normal direction. And it, it gives that effect of swelling just by dragging the inflate value. This inflate uh, tool is actually inflating the model throughout the model. So if I just uh, select the, the gear icon and then just choose inflate, I've got uh, six directions here uh, for the inflate. Uh, if you could see this cage, okay, this cage has got these icons uh, which are like click and drag and it inflates. Then you have the smoothness value and then we have the symmetry uh, also. So let's say if I just click and drag this icon here. Then you should be able to see uh, the inflate is happening on the front part of the model, but it's not uh, affecting much on the back. And if I just click and drag this, then you should be able to see uh, the model is sort of relaxed and it's not giving that penetration what generally your model is giving with the inflate tool. Okay, so it's trying to fix that penetration, though it's maintaining that inflate effect. As you could see, the front like looks more inflated than the back one. So uh, if I just select uh, this uh, icon and then just drag it and then put a value of two, which can be seen here, one and two. So when I put that value of two and then drag, it affects that inflate on both sides of the model. But when I put that on one side, it inflates. Uh, like if you see the front part is inflating while the back part is deflating the model there. It's making it more thin than what it is on the other side. So we have this uh, deformer which can be affected only on the top part of the model or maybe on the bottom part of the model. As you could see, I'm trying to get that um, uh, sort of uh, caricature effect. Uh, the model looks more stylized at this uh, deformation. So always uh, when you are running out of ideas, uh, take a normal model and then start doing the inflate tool. And then you should be able to see uh, more variations in that particular model. So this is uh, inflate for you. Okay. So if I just uh, click the gear icon and then choose multi slice, okay, let me try this on this model. Okay. And then select the multi slice tool. There's a blue color dot here. Okay. Which can be moved anywhere in the model. And uh, I'll just uh, go to the orthographic side. And then uh, you should be able to see there is a handle called apply creasing. And then we have uh, X, Y, Z directions here. So if I hold the red color arrow, it's controlling the slice width. And this one is controlling the resolution. So let's have a look on this. So I'll hold the red color uh, cone and then click and drag it. Okay. Uh, I don't see any effect, but let me just go to the resolution and then try this. Uh, so you should be able to see this model is not at all changing its shape, but it is getting that vertical lines slicing through the model. And then the slice width is controlling the width part and uh, the resolution is controlling that a number of lines what you wanted in the middle so i can just drag it and then uh, add that slice there let's say if i add the resolution here okay and then if i hold this red color line or yellow color cone drag it that lines are now creased lines and uh, what is creased lines uh, that that's a different uh, story altogether but whenever you do uh, the mesh smooth or crease lines will pref uh, keep the lines corner sharper okay so that's uh, widely used in uh, hard corner or hard surface models okay so this is uh, also uh, able to i mean you can alter the position of this just like this and also you can create that slices uh, in the vertical side okay and uh, and reduce the resolution there and then as i told i can hold this point and move anywhere on the model there like that okay it, it only just allows you to make a separate polygroup a line vertical or horizontal line cutting through it like that i'll just uh, undo this uh, overall work and then i'll just select the move tool and then move that move tool and then rotate that one and then let's see the uh, 
multi slice and then uh, try the lines there and you should able to see the direction of those lines uh, is actually affected uh, the way the manipulator was there so this is also something really important you should uh, check with about this uh, multi slice tool once you got the multi slice tool you can click the gear button and then accept it and uh, if i just go to the geometry section and then uh, edge loop and then just hit panel loops and you should able to see the those panels coming up there okay so this is a great way of you know adding those uh, slices so let me increase this uh, panel thickness for a bigger or thicker line across the model okay um, then we have another tool let me just uh, reset the manipulator and then we have the offset so offset allows you to move the model like that okay so just click and drag and it just moves the model offsets from the uh, the original location where from where you are moving this okay so uh, moving is one sort of uh, transformation and then offset is the another type now if you see the move tool is still uh, the, the manipulator is still at the center so the pivot point is uh, uh, static and then the mesh is just offsetted from its position okay so that is something which can be considered while you're using offset you could also see the uh, similar type of uh, tool in the deformation section where you could offset the model okay so you could see the model is moving in the x-axis you can also select that in the y okay you could see that is moving in y this is moving in x like that and you should able to see the manipulator is there and the mesh is just moving over there so these tools uh, are basically a great help when we are doing complex modeling uh, let me actually uh, do one more thing that is let's say if i rotate the manipulator and then try the offset and then the offset allows me to move the model in that particular direction that is also something uh, important you need to check about this tool guys i hope you are liking this videos i request you to hit the like button there and then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section uh, regarding this video or any video in my channel and also please subscribe my channel for more such content thank you